Best uh, Austin Powers movie? Is that even a question? It's Austin Powers 1. This is like, you know, you're asking me like the best gas to breathe. I'd say probably like O2. Second, maybe a little bit of nitrous oxide, I guess. I don't know if there is a third. <laughs> Fresh bread? Is that a smell? <laughs> that's not a gas. That's a smell. Oh. He a little helium? Sure, why not? Austin Powers 1, classic 90s comedy, stands on its own. Austin Powers 2, if you enjoyed the first one, the second one is more of the same, but a little bit worse. Like, Austin Powers 1 is like an 8 or a 9 on the comedy scale, which is different than the Oscar scale. Um, Austin Powers 2 is like a 7, and then Goldmember is like a 3. Goldmember, they, they shouldn't have made it. Not saying it doesn't have the occasional funny moment, but... Gold member, some of the jokes in gold member is like when your friend says you've got to watch this YouTube video and then holds his phone in front of your face for like three minutes. You're like, they should have, this video should be like one eighth the length. Poison fighting. Crow a gunk. Easiest, easiest in the world. Poison normal. That doesn't even make sense. Okay, Sinnoh. Okay, is this, this is gold, silver, diamond, pearl. Gen 4, Ruby Sapphire, Diamond Pearl, Diamond Pearl. I don't know. They'll save that. Firefighting, Infernape. Fire Normal. Doesn't make sense. Mythical. Mythical fighting Pokemon. What is, what's the difference between mythical and legendary? Mew is mythical. Zapdos is legendary. Event Pokemon? What does that mean? <laughs> Give up on that one? Well, I gotta guess something. <laughs> Mythical means you can't catch it in game. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, like um, how you can only get like Mel Metal in Pokemon Go by owning Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and using a transfer box or something. Exactly. Well, unfortunately, they don't have fucking steel on here, so I don't know what to do. Fire normal. That feels like a slugma to me. It's on fire, but it's like kind of normal. Poison normal. Am I crazy to think that there could be a, uh, a Nidoqueen Queen in here? Have I done this before? Ooh, she's ground. She's ground. Okay. Not a, not a horrible guess, though. Fire normal. I mean, I feel like a pony is like as normal as it gets. Ponyta. Fire normal. Maybe Chimchar is normal. He's... Okay, they wouldn't make a starter normal, buddy. Poison Sinnoh, easy, Toxicroak, yes, <laughs> yes, you got to get that checked out though, Fire Sinnoh, Chimchar, what, <laughs> is, the, is the website okay man? I saw a negative percent and was like, huh? Okay. And then normal poison. What about just like a guy? Iron Juggalus? <laughs> just like a, like a guy. Man. Man. Darmanitan? What about Daruma? Darumaka is kind of like, I mean, it's definitely standard. It's standard, bro. Standard is normal. And this guy's got fire eyebrows. No. How could, how could Darmanitan standard not be normal? Website's having some trouble today, man. Or maybe it's my own internet. I don't know. Today's was hard. I mean, the mythicals, I just have no idea. P 
pyroar, okay, and graphei. I've never heard of this guy. I've heard of this guy, but I haven't played it. Arceus. Shrewd. Oh, Lid Lidlio. I possibly could have gotten. But in a way, this guy's like just like he's just Chimchar, but like lion form. Yeah, I know Badu. Of course. Alright, we get it back on, on movies. Never mind, it's animated. This shit looks like Disney's Tarzan 1998. So it's that and the French Connection, my my favorite movies of all time. That's an easy one. I'm not even looking at the other ones. Don't need to. Easily could have been the Jungle Book. They didn't. They didn't have that kind of animation technology in 1967 when they made the Jungle Book. No disrespect. Chiefs quarterback threw. 28 TDs and totaled 4,000 passing yards in 2000 before joining Baltimore in 2001. Trent Dilfer. Lucky guess. Anybody? It's not Trent Green because he played for the Chiefs in the mid-2000s. Gerback? Isn't that a fucking Mortal Kombat character? Elvis Gerback? Isn't he the one with the red mask on? <laughs> Am I losing it? <laughs> That's a really tough question. Fullback Owen Schmidt played for this at the time Big East school from 05 to 07. Buckeyes. Fuck. Gordon Beckham got drafted eighth overall by this AL Central team in 2008, later making his MLD, MLB debut for them in 2009. AL Central. Kansas City Royals. Okay. Good start. The Henry Ford Museum is located in Michigan. Henry Ford? Never heard of him. That's Simon Cowell. In a couple years. And... I mean, I want to say that it's somebody related to American Idol, but I, I just don't see it, man. I kind of see like a... Like Rosamund Pike... Or, well, there's something, um, who's the British pop star, Joss Stone? Is it possible that you're Joss Stone? They don't even have her in the game. <laughs> I'm inclined to say I'm wrong on this one, but I'm going to say Rosamund Pike. That stings. Kate Hudson? Mm, I could see it. I could see Kate Hudson in that one. I could see Lena, Lena Dunham. Yeah. I think I would go Hudson over Dunham in that one. It's probably not Queen Isabella of Castile, though. What major pizza chain began selling handheld mini pizza puffs sold in sets of four under the name Crazy Puffs? <laughs> Little Caesars, maybe? They're always trying to... Yep, uh, they're always trying to innovate. Can I say something? I don't want to offend anybody. I'm merely, I'm not judging. I'm merely serving as a mirror for relatively normal society to reflect itself at DGen internet culture, okay? Here's my observation as the completely guiltless and blameless mirror that has no opinions of itself, but merely serves as an avatar, a surrogate for society's real opinions that they feel too cowardly to say. If you order something from a pizza place that's not pizza, you order pizza too often. That's my, that's my normie take. I'm not gonna insult ordering pizza, but whenever I go to like the Papa John's website and they're like, are you gonna get a papadilla? It's a quesadilla with pepperoni. I'm like, nah, bro, I'm here to get pizza. I'm not here to, I don't know what kind of mad science Dr. Frankenstein's cooking up in New Jersey. Just give me like a, a pepperoni pizza or something. Pizza and a salad, sure. Pizza and breadsticks, pizza and wings, no problem. But if you're like, ah, oh, I want to order from Papa John's, but I've had too much pizza recently. Maybe I'll get a papadilla. That's where I'm like, I think you got to pull back from that ledge, my friend, and cut ties with all the lies that you've been living in. 
Following two women attempting to make it in New York, this show is called Broad City. Johnny Depp played a mystery writer in the movie Secret Window. Finally, some real cinema. But she wears short skirts, I wear t-shirts. She's cheer captain, I'm on the bleachers. That's love story. I know it. It's not love story? It's you belong with me? I said, she wears short skirts, I wear t-shirts. It's a love story. Better not forget. Really? I thought for sure, because like in 2011, I worked with a, a couple in Korea who were really into Taylor Swift because they were from Kentucky. This was like pre the Taylor Swift, like, assance, the Swift assance. So they would always go to like Norebang with us and sing Taylor Swift songs. I thought for sure I knew that that shit was love story, bro. My bad, my bad. Wow. <laughs> Hardest celebrity mashup ever. I really flubbed the music question, though. You belong with me. It is Lena Dunham. Wow. You know what? Credit where credit's due. That is a tough one. Insane pull. My dumbass said Rosamund Pike. Pan pizza, Jersey pizza, New Jersey, New Trial, Miss Trial, Miss Testy, Miss Piper, The Pied Piper, Pied Rabbit, Peter Rabbit, Peter Parker, Peter Pan, and another Peter, Peter, Peter Pilot, Peter Cross, Peter Piper, Peter Fiddler, Peter, okay, one of these is going to be Peters, okay, Peter, 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 Peter Jersey, Peter Preliminary, Peter Surly, Peter... It's going to be like Peter Piper, Fiddler, or Cross. Let's simmer on that one for just a second, though. So we have Parker, Peter Pan, Peter Rabbit, and Peter... Yeah, we're going to simmer on that one for a second. Peter Piper picked up... Peter Piper picked up... Is that Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers? Maybe that is right. It is. I got him confused with the Pied Piper, who was not involved with that pepper business. Kinky. Short. Surly. Testy. Short, surly, testy cross. Um, when a manlet is mad. Words you use to describe an angry man manlet. Trial preliminary exploratory pilot. What is uh, a, a, a prospective instance of something perhaps ongoing in the future? Merrily Kinky Fiddler Jersey. Uh, the first word of Broadway shows. Ooh, we're kind of we're kind of going Mariah mode on connections these days. That was a clean one. Now, let's not take 90 seconds to do the mini today. That was fucking embarrassing yesterday, man. Loud sound of a cymbal. Crash. Thin and graceful. <laughs> Decorate with country in the Arab League. Oh, God. Shade of blue for a nursery ceiling. Sky. Potter's material. Clay. Blank cymbal. Drum kit part. What's the matter with them? Ogre who asks, what are you doing in my swamp? Harry Potter? No. Henny Penny. Henny Penny. Thin and graceful. Lithe. Decorate with adorn. Yemen. 39 seconds. I'll tell you, considering how much empty space I had in that, I think we did okay. That's the toughest mini I've ever seen. What's considered a good time? I would say like, I, I, I'll pog out for like under 20 seconds.
under a like under a minute is is acceptable, but twenty seconds is where it feels nice. Albanese eight flavor gummy bears, two point five pounds of gummy bears. Colors from real fruits and vegetables. That's good that that's where they get the colors from. <laughs> Two and a half pounds of gummy bears feels like an awful lot. It's like a kilogram of, of gummy bears. I got to imagine that that shit is at least eleven ninety nine. Wow. I mean, I get that it's sugar, but like... I mean, there's two components in the price of... so. I mean, there's multiple components, you know? There's the cost of the ingredients, which is like sugar and a mold, which is zero. But then there's the amount that people like demand it, which for gummy bears seems pretty high. That's, a, that's almost like irresponsible. Two and a half pounds of gummy bears for less than the price of a $5 six inch. Oh, so this is cheap, but the fucking four liters of marinade, you're like, it's just... It's mostly just lime juice, disingenuous so-and-sos. Seven bucks is a good price for two and a half pounds of anything. Oh, but apparently $4.99 is not a good price for four kilograms of marinade. You don't even stand by your principles, man. Let them have it. Keep their heads ringing. I know I can't just drink it. I'll put it on my rotisserie chicken. Armenia. It's not right. Maybe we should just give up. How about... Uh, let's, let's go fucking deeper here what about like a like you're like a Turkmenistan what about an Uzbekistan then to the northeast further away but not by much okay so now you got me thinking that this might be like Oman little closer okay Uganda? Oh, dude! Oh, no. Rwanda? Oh. Zimbabwe? Don't be on the other side. Oh. <laughs> Tanzania. Oh, that's what I was actually looking for. Okay. South Sudan? Yeah, all right. Dude, I was so impressed that I actually, like, guessed a country that was where I thought it was. That's an improvement for a guy like me. I'm learning a little bit about the world around me. And like most people that claim to be worldly, most of what I know is their rough, approximate geographic position and basically nothing about how people actually live there. But that I somehow act, like, more cultured than people who don't. Because he will divide us. He will. He's done it before. I'm not going to fuck up my stats by typing the United States of America in there, okay? <laughs> it's <laughs> August 22nd, 2008. Summer vacation in my second year of university. What were we fucking with back then? Pineapple Express. The mummy... Curse of the Dragon Empire. Paramount Pictures in a second week, 65 million, starring Ben Stiller. Action con oh, it's Tropic Thunder. The, the, when Tropic Thunder, when Tropic Lightning walks in. Okay, Tropic Thunder. $14 million opening starring Anna Ferris. The House Bunny. Thank God it's that, otherwise we're in trouble. Universal $12 million starring Jason Statham. That could easily be Death Race. I saw that opening weekend, so that makes sense. Get ready. 
for a killer race. Warner Brothers, $36 million, has now made $500 million. That's the Dark Knight. I'll never forget it. Okay, and then Warner Brothers, $24 million, fell off bigly, starring Matt Lanter. This has got to be like Meet the Robinsons or something. It's an animated movie. Robinsons. G-Force. Prepare to see Star Wars like you've never... It's the Clone Wars. Wow! <laughs> 93rd percentile? Pretty... Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm telling you, you give me 2002 to about 2010... And I got like a pretty good knowledge up there. Anything outside of that, it does get a little fuzzy. Okay. Now let me just think that we, we ran into trouble yesterday, okay? Hachi a dog's tail. It stars Richard Gere. I know that because he's on the poster. So you go, you take Richard Gere, you go, um, I mean, there's many different avenues that just spring to mind. I'm thinking you go Runaway Bride, Julia Roberts, Ocean's Eleven, Matt Damon, Goodwill Hunting, Ben Affleck, Dazed and Confused. Richard Gere, Runaway Bride, Julia Roberts, sorry, I got distracted. Ocean's Eleven, Matt Damon, Goodwill Hunting, Ben Affleck. Dazed and confused. Boom. 18 seconds. I'm gripping. Oh, Mystic Pizza. <laughs> that one, I forgot Richard Gere's in there. Richard Gere is a weird actor in the sense that, like, he was, like, famous back then. But he's not that famous anymore. Like, I feel like if I walked, if I was in conversation with somebody and I was like, what's your favorite Tom Cruise movie? They would have like an answer. But if I said, what's your favorite Richard Gere movie? They would be like, who's that guy again? The gerbil threw off his career. Is that a, a, a South Park reference? Oh, that's right. The, the Mothman Prophecies. With Deborah Messing. Who's also in Deborah Missing. Sylvester Stallone spread a rumor that Richard Gere put a hamster in his anus. There's no way that that rumor has any kind of validity, right? That just... <laughs> Richard Gere... Gerbil. Where did the Richard Gere gerbil rumor come from? <laughs> There's how that gerbil story really started. Oh, they're clickbaiting me. I see a, a Team Coco video from Conan O'Brien. Conan thinks the Richard Gere gerbil story is, quote, completely dot, dot, dot. Come on, man! I gotta know! I didn't click on it. Conan kind of the goat, though, for sure. This shit looks like the Mark of Cree. Metacritic score of 72. What is this? This is like uh, Mario Party Superstars. That would have been insane, man. This looks very familiar. Is this like Fallout Tactics? That, that game doesn't exist. It's a... Sp oh, it's Blood Bowl 2, not 3, which... Okay, it's Blood Bowl 1. Also known as Blood Bowl. There you go. I did. I played Blood Bowl 1, 2, and 3, man. 
I was excited for three until I played it and it was completely broken. And then also has that classic problem where you're like, oh, this game looks cool. Let's get into it. And everybody's like, yeah, it's so much fun. And then you play against somebody and you realize that they have like 40 years of playing the game in a tabletop situation and they just body you like while being on their phone simultaneously. And you're like, oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> if they ever make a competitive Isaac, it's on site for all you motherfuckers. That's all I'm saying. It's chess for Hearthstone nerds. Dude, I was laughing. So I was listening to the Behind the Bastards about Sam Bankman fried when I was on the Peloton this morning. I was laughing because he was talking about how, like, Michael Lewis wrote the book Going Infinite and he's obsessed with Sam Bankman fried always taking like multi-million dollar meetings while playing a video game. And I was like, please mention the game. Please mention it. Did you know it was Storybook Brawl? The, the look on my face when Robert Evans said he was obsessed with a game called Storybook Brawl. I was like, what? <laughs> I thought I'd never hear about that game ever again in my life. Was Storybook Brawl? It's kind of like, um, I don't know, like really slightly more complicated Hearthstone, I guess. It's like Hearthstone Aesop's Fables edition. Yeah, they, FTX bought the game and turned it into, you know, a Web3 situation. I played it once. It was all, I was also laughing because apparently Michael Lewis describes... Uh, storybook brawl as like the most strategically complicated game of all time and then I remember I played it on stream once and got like a 10 win arena on my first try despite being an idiot and I was like man this guy has, he has no idea what he's talking about <laughs> oh man that was not my experience, was that it was like, oh, they were, they, sorry, those are my bot games. Those are my bot games. Sorry, sorry. I'm going to know it. I don't know it yet, but I'm going to know it. Hood Outlaws. It's so bad when you don't remember the name of a game you did a sponsored stream for like a year and a half ago. What is this shit called? <laughs> Outlaws. Thieves. Pretend you didn't hear that. What is this? What are you? I only have one guest left. I don't know what this is. Lords of the Fallen. New. Oh, it's Dragon's Dogma 2. All right. Why does it look like the, the French flag? Twenty twenty four ass game. Yeah, didn't get it. Too new. Sorry. If you wanted me to play your game, maybe you should have made it a little older. This is Super Smash Brothers Brawl. It just has that brawl sort of... Like, this is what Denim looked like in 2008. That's not even... You shouldn't even be applauding that I got the right Smash Bros. Like, I was there, man. I bought that shit day one. I was making maps called Nissan Skyline that looked like a car. Probably Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Older than 2004, huh? Oh. <laughs> okay, now we're talking, man. Unreal Tournament 1. Between, nine, between 2000 and 2003. Single player only. Now, this is like right in my wheelhouse. Siphon Phil, no, it's like 1998. Let me think about this for just a brief moment. How about Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus? As o okay, so it's 2000 or 2001. Sixth or seventh grade. Third person game. Metal Gear Solid 1 for the PlayStation 1. Oh, that's 1998. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. It's not Konami. 
It features shooting and adventure. <laughs> Interesting. And there might be a little bit of action involved as well. It definitely was on a PlayStation console. Kind of feels like fucking Siphon Filter 2. But they don't have Siphon Filter 2 because they're cowards. They only respect the first one. Which is still a great game, don't get me wrong. But if you cut action, it has nothing to do with any of those. Okay, so that's, that's great tech. An action, a shooting action adventure game in the third person. Time Splitters 1. So it's from 2001. No action in Time Splitters? Are you insane? Hit me. A racing shooter simulator adventure game? That's Twisted Metal 3. Oh. <laughs> Racing Shooting Simulator Adventure. It's not Twisted Metal 3. Is, is Grand Theft Auto 3? Yeah! It had every genre. It's a pretty good game. How's GTA racing? You gotta race home from school to play it before your mom gets home from work and is like, what the hell are you playing? You're 12 years old. I wonder, I mean, I'm sure that like, you have that experience for games. Vice City is one of the last games I played and I know it was like 20 years ago, but it blew my mind. I was like, I can't believe this is possible with present technology. Ninth or 10th, it must have been ninth grade. High school lunch, running to my friend's house that was like 500 meters away just to watch him drive around Miami while like licensed music played. I was like, this, like five years ago, my ass was playing Super Mario World going like, burp, 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 burp. and I was like, they modeled Earth, man. They modeled Earth. It's a living, breathing city. Me when the Hitachi Magic Wand 2 came out. <laughs> I'm sure it was different. Like, if, if my dad played it, he'd probably be like, oh, cool, you can drive a car. And then he would have gone back to, like, reading the newspaper or something. But, like, as a... It's just interesting. Like, if you were 13 in, in 2002, that was what was popping for you. Like, it'll blow your mind. But if you're, like, 13 in 2010, what was blowing your mind in 2010? And don't say Riley Reed, okay? It's beneath you. Disgusting. Skyrim? Maybe, maybe that's the best option. Because like when I played Skyrim, I was like, why am I wasting my time with this? And everybody else was going around, Fuzro da, Fuzro da, Fuzro da, Fuzro da. And they kept that shit up for like eight years. <laughs> I was like, I don't get it, man. I just, I guess I just don't get it, which is fine. There's lots of things to get and not get, allegedly speaking. I don't think we're playing Puck Doku today. Take me straight to the movie grid. Take me straight to the golden age. We got to make room for Fish Guesser, man. Too easy. Jim Carrey, two word title. Jim Carrey, double letter title. Jim Carrey, title starts from A to H. Ignore the. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy, easy. Two word title. Mm, the Majestic. Double letter title, Mr. Popper's Penguins. Title starts with A to H. Lots of options. Let me think about this for a second. I mean, obviously there's Eternal Sunshine, but there's going to be other stuff as well. Cable Guy, the Cable, Cable Guy. Cable Guy. This concludes our broadcast day. Click. Okay. Jamie Lee Curtis. Easy. Two-word title. 
True Lies. What a fucking goaded title for a movie. True Lies. With a hand grenade separating the words, delineating true from lies. It's a fucking sick title. True Lies. Double letter title. I mean, Halloween is kind of an easy one. Title. I'd probably go with Freaky Friday. I think that Halloween, it, it's, this is always a tricky one. Halloween is going to show up here, but then she's in like five Halloweens. So that necessarily splits the vote. Is that, that seems like it's better than going for Glass Onion, especially now I'm realizing she's not even in that one. She's in Knives Out. So she's in everything, everywhere, all at once. But I, I feel like you got to take like Halloween, uh, probably Under Fist Halloween Bash. I think you got to play the, the, the hits here and you got to play like Halloween. Ends. I was okay. I'm, I'm happy with my decision because I'm like, she's in Halloween one, but that's too obvious. And then Halloween kills. I'm like, people are going to know. They're going to remember that that is, uh, one that she was in, but ends, they might get a little confused because the, the, the reboot, which I guess was actually just a sequel, they, it, it got a lot of momentum. I even saw it in theaters and then it lost a lot of momentum, but regardless. Okay. <clears throat> Double letter title. Easy. Turner and Hooch. Two word title. I mean, you got you got lots. Forrest Gump, Captain Phillips. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Toy Story. Apollo thirteen. You know what? I'll hit you with Apollo thirteen. Out of all the Tom Hanks filmography, I was thinking that was a lower percentage one. Title starts A to H. I mean, Big is the one that jumps out of you here. So I'll I'll swerve and take Captain Phillips. That's a pretty good one today. Top 14, I can live with it. That is a remade poster. That's fine, but that's not the poster I grew up with. Halloween, Double Freaky Friday, Toy Story 4 is gone big. I'm, I can live with that. Rubber Face, haven't seen that one? What a difference a face makes. <laughs> Don't know Pink Cadillac, honestly. Deadpool, that's not even out yet. Halloween, 25 Years of Terror. I don't count it. The hell is this? The hell is the circle? It's that Netflix show where it's like you can only tweet to people or whatever. You should do the pyramid. Okay, maybe I'll do the pyramid today. We we did it once, but I I found it like it was so easy that I was insulted. So maybe the maybe today's the day for the pyramid. Okay, I'll give it a try. That being said, I don't really remember the rules. $100 million box office run, and it stars Tom Cruise. Okay? War of the Worlds. 2.8%. Is that good? Rarer answers give you better scores. Okay? 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 That seems like a great start. In that case, $100 million plus of the box office stars Tom Cruise. I go crazy. I take Mission Impossible 3 first. I think you got to go Jury Maguire. I'm racking my brain over whether or not Vanilla Sky was enough of a moment. Cameron Crowe at the height of his game. Tom Cruise at the height of his game. Probably R-rated though. But people were going to see movies back then. There's no doubt about that. Obviously, there's like a few good men. Probably, you know what? I bet Risky Business... It, it started his career. That's got to be in there. That's not in there. I'm going to cry. Okay, in that case, fuck it. Vanilla Sky, bro. Okay, we take those. 2000 to 2024, Jessica Alba. That's tough. Honey. <laughs> Sin City. Fantastic Four. And Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer. One word title times Bruce Willis. 
unbreakable. I mean, glass. There's, there's got to be better, though. Give me a second here. I'm, I'm scanning the Bruce Willis archives of my brain. Hostage. Starring his daughter. That's what the rumor is, anyway. Marlon Brando nominated for an acting Oscar on the waterfront. It's just that easy, bro. Top 26. The Fifth Element. Interesting idea of a one-word title. <laughs> I think we did pretty well. Good run, not perfect though. Okay, fucking Jared Harris in Chernobyl. I done my mistake. How much money did Risky Business make domestic? Risky Business box office. 63.5 million domestic. Adjusted for inflation. That's fucking... That's probably like a billion dollars now. In Bindin's America. Tom Cruise is also crazy because like... Most of his, I don't, I'm not insulting the Mission Impossible films. They're actually like goaded action movies. But like most of his best movies are like 1982 to like 2002. And then he's really kind of just been jogging for like 20 years. But he's, he's thrown his heart and his soul into the jogging. It's not like a cynical, like Jurassic World, Chris Pratt type situation. But you always have to like let your brain simmer when you're like, what movies has Tom Cruise been in? Because the first ones are like, MI1, MI2, MI3, Ghost Protocol, Rogue Nation, Fallout, Dead Reckoning, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, Tropic Thunder, of course. And Tropic Lightning, when Tropic Thunder comes into the fucking, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hang on, I got to go back to the, the Vulture. Minus two, minus two, minus two, minus. Yo, it's a great day, man. Tom Cruise, we already like, we, we built to this. Tom Cruise, two plus hours. Easy Choice Magnolia. I'll tell you, I was in the theater for it. Mission Impossible Fallout, longer than two hours and worth it, okay? Two word title, I'll hit you with this. You, it was a great suggestion, we'll roll with it. Nominated for an Oscar starring Tom Cruise. I'll just go Magnolia on that one. We take those. Okay, Nicole Kidman, two plus hours. I refuse to believe that Australia was not longer than two hours. It seems self-indulgent. I can't believe 27% joined me on this one. Oscar nominated. Well, you know what? Let's go with the others on this one. And then let's go with the hours on Oscar nominated film. Fuck. <laughs> I should have said Moulin Rouge, man. I should have said Moulin Rouge. People fuck with the hours? I thought that nobody, nobody talks about this shit, man. What a cast. Meryl Streep, Julianne Moore, Nicole Kidman wearing prosthetics. I mean, that's, that's a rest. It was, as soon as they, the producer should win the Oscar, man. Getting all that talent together. Stanley Kubrick, two-word title. Apocalypse Now. That's Francis Ford Coppola. Two plus hours. Full metal jacket. I should have just gone with The Shining. I had to get cute with it. Full metal jacket's not longer than two hours. It's two movies, bro. It's one hour, 52 minutes. Suck my dick, Stanley Kubrick, you motherfucker. <laughs> That's just like shorter than an episode of Pretty Little Liars or Big Little Lies or whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> That's bullshit, bro. Oscar nominated. Okay, Dr. Fucking Strange Love. How I learned how to suck myself. There we go. No, no, no. All top 77% of players insulting. Insane fumble. That stings, man. 
they're going to start saying, I don't know shit about Barry Lyndon, then they would be right. Wait, did I, I missed, I missed guess the movie by the cast. Okay, William Fickner, Jens Lechman. This is Heat. Eric Bana, William Fickner, Jens Lechman. This is Eric Bana in a supporting role. Funny people. Tom Sizemore. This shit is it's Tom Sizemore, bro. This is fucking Heat. I don't think Eric Bana's in that shit, but this is Heat. This is Mission to Mars. Or alternatively, Red Planet. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, skip me. Ewan McGregor, Tom Sizemore, Eric Bana, William Fickner, The Island. Josh Hartnett, Ewan McGregor, Tom Sizemore, Eric Bana, William Fickner, Jens Lechman. Josh Hart. This is uh, lucky number Slevin. No, because that shit would have Bruce Willis in a major role. Is. Smoking Aces is Clive Owen. What the fuck is this? It's not 40 Days and 40 Nights. Two guesses remaining. I don't know what the fuck this is, man. Smoking Aces? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 okay. It's not, it's very tonally dissonant to Smoking Aces. That's Black Hawk Down. Yeah, I forgot about that one. Ridley Scott. <laughs> kind of washed today. On movies, I was doing, well, I did pretty well on box office game. But yeah, I mean, I'm not beating the allegations. You're right, even, well, I didn't skip Food Guesser. Hang on, I, I skipped too far down. We got to go to Spell Check. Don't OGC me, Okay. Fishtel. We get the points back on Fishtel. Riffraff. A noun meaning dis... That's one word? Followed. A verb meaning to go, proceed... Stubble. A noun... Mm, goaded facial hairstyle. Riddance. A noun meaning an act of... The Chronicles of... Hungary. A geographical name... Easy. Easy is easy. Austere. An adjective meaning stern... German politics. Quotient. A noun meaning the... A thrasonical. A adjective meaning of relating to, resembling, or characteristic of Thraso. Bragging, boastful. Thraso comes from Latin Thracen, a bragging soldier character in Terence's comedy, Eunuchus. A Thrasonical. A adjective meaning of relating to, resembling, or characteristic of Thraso. Bragging, boastful. Thraso comes from Latin Thracen, a bragging soldier character in Terence's comedy, Eunuchus. A Thrasonical. A adjective meaning of relating to, resembling, or characteristic of Thraso. No, there was no shot, man. <laughs> there was no, I was in no man's land. Oscillation. Okay, a noun yeah. meaning the yeah, action or state doable. of oscillation. Shingle. A noun meaning. Oh, man. I don't even remember what this word is. Athrosonical? Avifauna. A noun meaning the birds or the kinds of birds of a region. All right, that makes sense. Morel. A noun meaning any of se- Diastolysis. A noun meaning the breakdown of bodily tissues. New Latin refers to the Latin language used since the end of the medieval period. Diastolysis. A noun meaning the breakdown of bodily tissues. New Latin refers to the Latin language used since the end of the medieval period. Diastolysis. A noun meaning the breakdown of bodily tissues. New Latin refers to the Latin language used since the end of the medieval period. Eostolysis. I can't even a noun see the word, the breakdown man. I can't of even see tissues. the word. New Latin refers to the Latin language used since the end of the medieval period. Eostolysis. A noun meaning the breakdown of bodily tissues. New Latin refers to the Latin language used... And that's fucked. I don't know what they're asking me for there. Plagiarism. A noun a meaning given? an act or... That should be in the easy camp. Ossicle. A noun meaning a small bone or bony structure, such as the mali. We get those. Tell me what you were asking for. Histolysis. Histolysis. 
I mean, we were on the right track. And then Thrasonical. Thrasonical? We were, we were close. I can't be too upset about that. Bionicle ass. Fucking Lego Ninjago. I don't know what any of this shit is, to be honest. Ninjago, when Ninja Stay walks in. Bionicle and Trionicle. We got lots of jokes we could do. John Bionicle. John Ninjago. Ninjango. John Daly, when John Weekly walks into the room. Lamb flatbread tomatoes. Chickpeas. Razal Ghoul. Tear flatbread into small pieces. Simmer it with a stew made of paprika. It has a flag in the, But I don't know what flag it is. <laughs> I have no idea, man. It's like Algeria? Like it is Algeria, dude! <laughs> yes! That shit ain't shakshuka? What are you talking about, shakshuka? Oh, it's totally shakshuka when chakchuka walks into the room. Come on. Maybe it is shaksuka. I don't know. I've only had it in Canada where I'm sure they fuck with it a little bit. That's a hamburger. That's a, that's a, it's literally a pork chop sandwich. I don't know what to tell you, brother. That's a pork chop. It looks fucking good. Am I insane if I say this shit is from Vietnam? Oh, not insane. Not insane at all. I mean, in Vietnam, you'd expect it to maybe be on a, like a French baguette, but I, only, I mostly only know, you know, banh mi. I'm sure they eat a variety of sandwiches over there. Hot. To the northeast of Vietnam? Pork chop sandwich, Japan. That's warm. China. Hong Kong. Taiwan? Oh, brother. Macau. <laughs> Pork chop bun is a popular street food originating from Macau. Okay, okay, fair enough. Ground meat, onions, garlic, salt, black pepper, flour, water, cabbage, optional. A deep fried dumpling enjoyed by hardy nomadic peoples, often made with mutton. Hardy nomadic peoples, Mongolia. Wow, okay. It's giving Mongolia. That's kosher. Now, I call it a Jamaican beef patty, but Hardy? Brother, I watched a documentary about breastfeeding habits worldwide. I know I've told this story a hundred times. I apologize. They had a motherfucker in Mongolia that was like 12 years old and his mom was like, yeah, he still suckles at the teat. And he was like, mom, shut the fuck up. He was like hiding his face from the camera and shit. And she was laughing. <laughs> I was like, you're ruining this kid's life. <laughs> but the kid was like, he's 12 years old. He was like five, five, 280 and like looked like he could help you plow the fields. Let's put it that way. He was, he was sturdy. He was a sturdy looking lad. This was not from the land of Timothy Chalamet. Okay. He was a beast. He plays Falco. So yeah, Hardy. Anyway, we did okay today. Sorry, sorry to Macau for the disrespect, but I, I love Food Guesser. It's a fun time no matter what. Akanastoga reeks hell on a living room in a classic commercial for the dog food, dog food brand What Wagon? Covered Wagon. Before he shazammed, he was on Psych. Zachary Levy was on Psych. Never mind. Basketballer and shoe guy Charles Taylor went by what? Chuck! He's on Chuck, not Psych. It's the other Reddit show. My mistake. What's the most densely populated Canadian province? That's fucked up, dude. That's a tough question. 
So immediately you might think like a small province, like Prince Edward Island, but it's mostly pretty sparse too. I, I mean, there's a, all Canadian provinces have like a reasonable amount of wilderness. This is crazy, man. I got to think that this shit... I mean, Ontario has vast stretches of wilderness. So does Quebec. Manitoba's not even close. No disrespect. Saskatchewan's not even close. I don't think BC is close. Alberta, lots of empty space, but two major cities, which is one more than most Canadian... It's actually two more than most Canadian provinces have. Nova Scotia, maybe, but there's like... I don't know. Halifax is like 100 people. Maybe Nova Scotia? I don't know. It could be Ontario. On the northeast end of the Confederation... It is PEI, man. It's Prince Edward Island. Fair. Are there like... 400 people who live there? I know the island is small, but like, that, that's a good question. Nova Scotia's number two. That's a thinking man's question, okay? I know it's hella small. I'm just saying. That was, that was, a, that was a real head scratcher. Poking out of the zone of maturation. Hairs are an important, super important component of what plant part? Seed? <laughs> root. It's a root directory. Right, right, right. Alexander Sokorov's 2002 feature Russian Ark was filmed in one long steady cam shot through which museum? The Reeks Museum. The Winter Palace is the main building of what Baltic adjacent institution where you'll find Matisse's dance? That's dumb, right? That's dumb. <laughs> Lonely sounding art museum. Oh! Lonely art museum, the Hermitage. Of course, civilization pilt. Enjoyed from Morocco to India, kofta is a version of what sub sandwich ingredient? Meat? <laughs> Tomato? Listen, okay, I'm not throwing this. I, I, it's not India's fault, okay? You ever read the descriptions for Indian food when you're trying to figure out what curry to order? Every single one is like meat stewed in a rich, creamy sauce. Meat stewed in a rich and creamy tomato-based sauce. Meat stewed in a... There's got to be some more delineations that you could put. Because I don't... I've been eating Indian food for 20 years. I had a limited palate as a child. I've been eating Indian food for 20 years. I don't know the difference between a, a, a korma, a butter chicken, a madras, a kofta, a fucking brogan josh. I don't, I don't know the difference. I just know that like... They, they're like 12 different shades of brownish red when they arrive. And I'm like, that's rogan josh right there. I'm pretty sure this one's lamb curry. It's all good. <laughs> this is Proton John. Okay. A 1978 kids book about the town of Chu and Swallow, whose title name checks what counting noun. I have no idea. On top of spaghetti, what sort of spheroid got lost? A meatball when somebody sneezed. That's fucking hard, man. A meat. So kofta was meat. I should have just typed meat, man. It might have given me nothing for it, but at least it would have been less embarrassing for me. <clears throat> Easy. Sort these sports by when they were first competed at in the modern Summer Olympics. Bro, they got to bring tug of war back to the Summer Olympics. That shit would go crazy. Mongolia would be on top for sure. Okay. Starting with the newest, beach volleyball is pretty new. Skateboarding is newer. Tug of war is probably old as fuck. Fencing has got to be down there too. I think, honestly, 
I like it as it is. I'll take that. Any day of the week, I'll take that. 2020, 2000. Triathlon's younger than beach volleyball in the Olympics? That's kind of crazy to me. They really only ran... I, I do feel like tug of war is one of those sports where like you're guaranteed to get injured in like a very non-impressive way. Like you're, it's just going to like rip the muscles off of your backbones. So maybe that's why they stopped it, but... It is kind of crazy that... Like, triathlon is like swim, run, bike. Or maybe a swim, bike, run. And then biathlon is like, you'd think it would just be like run, bike. But they're like, nah, bro. Cross-country skiing and shooting a rifle. That's fucking sick. <laughs> That's crazy. They completely reversed it. Yeah, then the decathlon, I don't even know. They're like throwing frisbees and shit. Do not biathlon when triathlon runs into the room. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Please do it. No, no. Last month, maybe, okay? I'm not qualified to talk about it anymore. People are getting offended. When I say the most op openly horny people online are people who are doing no fucking, it used to just be something we could all laugh about, but now they're like, oh, he's ace-phobic. I'm not ace-phobic. I'm asking questions, okay? I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm an explorer in a curious world. Checks the stat. I will say I had a boomer's conception of ace or asexualism which is when somebody blew my mind in chat where they were like asexual people can be horny i was like what and then i thought about it for like a second and i was like that makes sense you could like you know be hungry even if you're not joey chestnut that just that seems like the base principle i just never really thought about it Plus two, plus two. <laughs> Do I get it? No, but by asking questions, I'm starting to build an idea of what it is so that I can get it. So we're going we're gonna to get there together, or I'm going to get there by myself with the help of a lot of people. Higher percentage of people who have individual income over 100K is got to be San Jose. Higher percentage of people who are uninsured. Um, so I do look at Iowa as like, keep the government out of my business. But then like this place doesn't even, I mean, that shit is not even English. Man. And there's like no roads. These are like capillaries. So I think I got to go with the Laredo, Texas media market. Highly, higher mean daily high heat index. I got to go with Texas over Virginia just due to like latitude. Higher percentage of adults with diagnosed diabetes. I would probably go with Texas. Higher percentage of workers employed in educational services. I would probably go with San Jose because I'm sure all the Google employees have their kids in like 25 different academies. I'm insane today. I didn't mean to cook Texas, man. I just, I'm just answering questions. If it was like, which one of these places has highest hat circumference on average per capita, I'd be like fucking Texas. I thought it was a, so I I've, I've went to Miami in 2014. When I flew in, I flew into Dallas and then to Miami. And everything was what I would call normal. And on the way back, I flew into Houston and then to Vancouver. And when I got off the first plane in the Houston airport and everyone was wearing 10 gallon hats, I was like, this is fucked up, dude. <laughs> I didn't know there was like 
I don't mean this to be rude. I didn't know that was shit you like wore out. Like I may like I'm not making a joke. You when you go square dancing, of course you wear like a cowboy hat. I didn't know you're like I'm going to the airport. I'm gonna put my cowboy hat on with my cowboy boots and stuff. Don't Al Burdens dress the same way? I don't know. I don't. I've only flown into Calgary once. They must have packed the hats away. I'm sure at the Stampede they do, but. My coworkers wear them every single day. Do you work on a ranch or like? It's a cool looking hat. It's a statement. I was just surprised. I was like, you know, I feel like it would be like if you came up to Canada and like everybody was wearing the Olympic mittens or something like that. Yeah, during the Olympics it happens. But like, or if you like went to Sweden and everyone was wearing like a helmet with the Viking horns on it. I don't know. It was just, it was surprising to me. It's a look. I'm not even making fun of it necessarily. I could not pull it off. I would look like the Yodel kid for sure. People would be like, he don't know what to do. Oh no. Okay. It's faces. This is Forrest Whitaker. hundred percent. I think it's Forrest Whitaker and Ben Stiller, man. Am I insane? Oh, that was... Ooh. He's almost 70 years old. Denzel Washington. He's known for Spider-Man, Finding Nemo, and Poor Things. Albert Brooks? <laughs> no, I don't... <laughs> J.K. Simmons? Willem Dafoe? I'm sorry. That's Forrest Whitaker and Ben Stiller. That's 2014 Ben Stiller mixed with Forrest Whitaker. They did not... No, no. They used the wrong photo. Will, Willem Dafoe is not in here. I don't see him. I don't see him. No, this one's not Nick Kroll. But that one, that one time was definitely Nick Kroll. Okay, daily news quiz. Here we go. I'll continue without saving my progress. This is a tough one. We like to be bitterly disappointed. Rob Williams, fan of this country's soccer team. Hmm. England. It's actually an offensively easy question. Okay. Willem Dafoe when Willem the Friend walks in. Willem the Friend when John the Friend walks in. We've created a monster. This is fucked, man. Guess the five countries that export the most nuclear reactors? <laughs> United States of America? <laughs> uh, I mean, I... I I would assume China has a large manufacturing base. I would, oh, they're doing none of them, man. They're doing none of them. So I'm, I'm thinking like who makes engines? Because a nuclear reactor is kind of just like, a, like an airplane engine. And those motherfuckers are manufactured by Rolls Royce. I'm an idiot. I'm stupid. <laughs> I have no idea, man. Germany, even though they have to export them because they're not allowed to use them, them themselves. I knew it! That shit has got Siemens all over it. Engineering driven nation, Japan. We crossed the bronze. I'm stunned. Russia, Sweden, Sweden, United States, Germany, Spain. Okay. Okay. 
Spain also. I mean, that's tough. I mean, it's, I mean, it is and it isn't tough. Russia, I should have gotten, but I was worried that I was falling to the bait that was like, um, you know, you associate them with the atomic age. They could have been importing the fucking turbines from Latvia, for all I know, man. That being said, that was number one. <laughs> so it doesn't really make any sense. Latvia was Russia back then? Back then? Yeah, but now they're like Latvia. <clears throat> Things you open. A door. That's a good one. Um, an email. A window. Open a jar. A bottle. How about a can? Yep, that's a bottle. Okay, you open a... Open a, open, see, open a sesame, open a door, you open a trunk, a car trunk. Okay, open a car trunk, open a, um, I'm gonna open up, open, open up your feelings, open yourself, open office, open, you open a store. That's dumb, apparently. You'd open Heimer. Open things you open. Uh, <laughs> things you open. Again, open. Don't people in England say like you open a tap or a faucet or something? Okay, never mind. Open a open a, open a wrapper, a plastic wrapper for food. Legs. All right, I got cooked, man. Open up. That's mail. Package and mail are the same thing. Open your eyes. Open your book. Open your heart. Open your mind. Open your bank account. This is bullshit, okay? Bank account should not be at 19%. This is fucked up. I'll take the L on package. I feel like package and mail are the same thing. Eyes, I should have gotten. Book, I understand. These two, I got issues, but I got more issues with open a bank account, okay? Open a wrapper makes way more sense than open a bank account. Is an Amazon package mail? Yeah. I, I consider it mail. It's, it's delivered. It's a physical object dropped off at your door, perhaps even placed in your mailbox. I consider that mail. Sorry, my tummy is going. It's hungry. Fishtel. This is what you've all been waiting for. <laughs> I need a hint. Bear ra kuda. Yeah, dude! If anybody else get Fischl in two today? Watch Tennessee Man's viral brain snap over fishing access. All right, start. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look at Relatal, okay? Patty Smith to Timberland. This is a gimme, dude. Librarian, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. I know you love Fishtel, okay? Patty Smith to Timbaland. We go Kate Bush, which takes us to Zoomer artists. Then we got to go back to millennials. I'm not going to blame the Zoomers for Timbaland's popularity. It's more of a Gen X millennial thing. Okay, Kate Bush takes us to, of all these artists, probably Fiona Apple. Or the talking heads, but the talking heads are gonna go, they're gonna be more back in new wave. Fiona Apple <clears throat> lets us get to Tim 
Timbaland. Hole to No Doubt. We're, we're in there. To Gwen Stefani. Actually, Nelly Furtado to Timbaland. That's so easy. He's number one. Oh! In the rare five to nine. We, dude, we got it in six. The shortest path is five today. PJ Harvey, Garbage, No Doubt, Gwen Stefani, Timberland. It's like the same path, man. Except I went Fiona Apple to fucking, I don't know. I was dilly-dallying a little bit. You should play Mahjong Handle. Okay, okay. Mahjong Handle. This should be easy. Everyone relax, okay? I'm gonna... <laughs> I mean, fucking... Four wins. <laughs> Hand must include at least one Yaku. <laughs> That's not a Yaku, bro. That's a fucking, that's a, that's a flush. Okay, all fucking simples, bro. Ham must include one Yaku. What? Bro, that's a Yaku. That's, that's all simples. You're lacking a pair. Oh, wait, I forgot about the way that this motherfucker works. Okay, one second. What the fuck is orange and blue mean, bro? <laughs> I want, you want me to do a fucking code review? You got the Yaku. I don't know what that means, man. I don't know what it means. <laughs> Blue means it's in the right position. Orange means it's also here somewhere. Oh. <laughs> oh. I can't do it, man. I can't do it. It's too much. It's just too much for me. I can't. It can't be done. Rundel, please. Sure, man. Here you go. Rundel. Guess today's random RuneScape character on Rundel. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know. I thought it would be like a Nordic rune as if that would be easier. You know what, though? I... I've, I didn't play Dota Dota Dol yet today. I always love playing Dota Dol. I only know three things about RuneScape. Bodhi, Chibli, and Lumbridge. Guess today's hero from Dota 2. Mirana. Nah, dude, not even close. You're not even in the right ballpark, buddy. So it's a melee character. That's fucking Sven. But Sven is like a, a guy. So never mind. He's a human. Um, uh, Anti-mage. Is a male. He's also a human. He's an easy character. No disrespect. So we're looking for a perhaps a jungler like life stealer. Oh, it's not an Oglody. A strength driven... Off laner. Perhaps you've heard of him. His name is fucking Slark <laughs> or Slardar. <laughs> He's not a Marant, but he is an off laner. Bro, we're in there. That's like uh, Slark, dude. He's got to be the same 
character, right? No! He's not a merant, you fool. He's not a merant. Bounty hunter, goblin, a male unknown. Uh, oh, excuse me, bounty hunter is not a support. He's a jungler. How do you like my axe, axe? That guy is named, he's, he looks like this. Because it's not axe. It's the guy, his name is Blood Seeker. Oh, <laughs> come on, man. Axe? Oh, he's an Oglody, my mistake. So he's got a history with, with this guy. All right. It's so makeable. <sighs> How do you like my axe, Axe? He's a strength melee character that's considered easy. He's probably Faceless Void. No, that's an outer being. That's my mistake on that one. It's probably Kunkka. He kind of looks like a human to me, but all right. My bad. My bad. He's an offlaner. He's an offlaner. <laughs> How do you like my axe axe? I don't know, brother. I don't know. I don't know, okay? Phantom Lancer. What do you mean unknown? You know what a fucking Oglody and a Maranth is? You don't, we don't know what Phantom Lancer is? Dark Seer. No, nah, it's another outer being. That's my, my mistake. My mistake. Ability Clue. Invoker. I have no idea what this is, man. Uh, Mage, Ogre, Magi. That's an Ogre. My mistake. I'm just, if I can get a loading clue, maybe. Venomancer. That's a male alien. That's a male Venomancer. My, dis my mistake. No disrespect intended. Lion. It's a demon. <laughs> Sniper. That's a human. No, sorry, he's a keen. No disrespect intended. Probably say Sven. Okay, here's my loading screen clue. You ready? I don't know who that is, but he is a centaur. Centaur, they, this motherfucker was not in Dota 2 when I played. I was doomed. Who the fuck is Centaur War Runner? He was? No, he wasn't. He was in Dota in 2004. He was not in Dota 2. Dota 2, they added them later. He was added in 2012. I've never seen this guy before in my life. He's in Dota 2 from release? No shot. No shot. I've never seen him. But with God as my witness. Release year 2004? You don't understand. That's Dota the Warcraft 3 mod. We're talking about Dota 2 here, okay? I've never seen this guy before in my life. He was added in 2015 or 2016. I'm innocent, brother. I'm innocent. October 2012? Nah, this guy doesn't exist. He was added in 2012. Yeah, maybe if you're Ice Frog, if you're playing Dota 2 with Gaben, but if you were playing on the real live servers, this motherfucker was not in the game, okay? I tell you that for free. Either way, we got it, because we're the best to ever do it. Now, with an ability icon, can we guess Dota? Absolutely. He was even in auto chess? Auto chess came out like seven years after I stopped playing the game. You're making my point for me. This is Enigma. This is Phantom Lancer. This is Phantom Assassin. This is Faceless Void. This is Darkseer. Wow! <laughs> oh, it's upside down. That's Wall of Replica, bro. Come on. Who's this? Warlock. 
<laughs> oh, he was in the fucking game, dude. He was in the fucking game. You think I don't know shit about Warlock? Fuck you, man. Dota Toodle in one. All you idiots were saying doom. <laughs> Imagine, man. Imagine. Subway, though. That's an idea. Subway, though. A daily Subway. Po wait, wait. I thought it was going to be the sandwich one. There's no shot I can travel from 168th Street to 20th Avenue using two transfers, bro. Anybody else got any dolls we could scrape here? <laughs> oh, man. I'm not going to do Porndle, okay? Oh, I haven't played Knuckle yet today. That's right. Am I crazy? That's Donovan Bailey's head. No, that's Jerome McGinley's forehead wrinkle. Actor form. Oh, it's Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, who is like half Canadian, but he was born in. His father was born in Amherst, Nova Scotia. He's. I listen. Canada is happy to claim people who are like half Canadian, but like The Rock has like a half Canadian dad and was born in Hawaii himself. So I don't think he's Canadian. Also, I don't really want him. Most mid filmography of in human history, perhaps. I don't really care for The Rock, to be honest with you. I don't have any like strong feelings against him. He just kind of inspires like a, a certain vacuosity of, of feeling inside of me. I don't mean any disrespect. I just... Okay, Balatrodal. I think it's... The more we scrape the barrel of those, the better it gets. Enter a Joker. Easy. I can think of a joker in this game. Constellation. Holy cow. So this is yes, yes, yes. What does this mean? It's... Like, is, is this right? Or is this wrong? <laughs> it's not uncommon. Why is this shit green, Don Norman? It's not, it's not uncommon and it's not $6. It scales. Campfire. It's that easy. A $9 Joker at rare that scales. Boom. Balatrodal, get control deed. Any other dulls? Subway sandwich dull. <laughs> no, man, that's the restaurant. I don't want, I, I want a game based on the restaurant. I want you to show me an ingredient and I guess the sandwich, okay? Come on, it's got to exist. 